Hey, social distancing over there. Detect alone. All metal detectors' lives matter. Social distancing over there. Detect alone. All lives matter. Social distancing over there. Detect alone. All lives matter. Social distancing. Detect alone. To save lives. Detect alone to save lives. <laughs> All right, that's right. This is how we do some social distancing, folks. That's Jazzy Jeff over there. Andrews. A couple hundred feet over there, and we're gonna uh, do some digging. We're right here at the cellar hole where we had the big collaboration last year. And the big steps come down the side. I just got a good signal, like a 1721, real loud. Just dug down like four inches. You guys seeing that? Look at that mason jar lid. Cool with the glass intact. Gotta love it. Alright, I'll get that home cleaned up. Can't wait to see what it reads. You know me, I ain't got my glasses on. Alright folks, up there on the top of the hill, the ridge is where the railroad came through. All the way to my town, East Hampton, and this way it went through Colchester. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm in Lyman 24. Stay tuned, we got some more stuff coming up. Hope these guys find something cool. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. I don't even know if I was recording. Uh, here you go. Thank you, thank you. Coin purse, top. Andrew found it. Still on my list. That's Earth on Earth, folks. Check them out. Sweet. Congrats, bud. Thank you. Hinges and everything. Ooh. Hey, social distancing. <laughs> Fire. Right, me and Andrew are still out here hitting it hard. Jazzy Jeff have to take off. This is the cellar hole right here. The uh, center stack chimney. There's a well attached there, and about another 20 feet is another well. Just found another uh, mason jar lid with the glass intact. How cool is that? I got two of these bad boys now. Hey, Freddy, TNC Diggers, Cody, what's up, bud? I know you guys make some wind chimes out of these things with some spoons. It's pretty cool. All right, get that home, get it cleaned up, see what it says on it. Hang out a little bit more, tickle the hole, see what I can find. If I can find something, I'll get back to you. If not, see you at home at the wrap-up. And, uh, yeah, that's it. See you then. Hey, I just headed back to the car. My bag of goodies here. And Andrew said, hey, fire up the camera. You're going to love it. I said, well, what do you got? Let's take a look-see. Oh, a full horseshoe this time. Dude, what's that, a range guide? Right, I think so. It's got the range guide ring there. Yeah. It's a... It's like a part of an oxen type of tax yeah, thing. Big whole section. Or horse? Who knows? Draft well, horse? The biggest horse I've ever seen. Besides well, that shoe. Could be horse tack then. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's a nice range guy too, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's really Ooh, nice. Oh, nice piece. Awesome. Wow, still attached. I never seen one attached to something before. Yeah, no. Cool, bud. Congrats, man. Thank you. Awesome. I didn't find nothing cool like that. A couple of mason jar lids. And some, uh, this cool pottery stuff here. Ouch, I just cut my finger on it. Not really. This stuff here. Stay tuned, I'll be giving this away soon. All right, bud, thanks for the hunt today. Thank you. Thanks for the social distancing, appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again real soon. One metal detector length away. Right? Two, we yep. each got one, you know. All right, tune in again next time, see what we can find. Hopefully something better than today. See you then, thanks, bye. And now for the wonderful iron wrap-up. Here's some of the iron uh, relics I dug yesterday. I've never seen anything like that before. Figure eight, huh? wrought iron. That's one heavy-duty wrought iron nut. Almost perfectly square. Never seen anything like that before. I see them thick, but not like that. And I found a buckle. I think this might be a potato hoe. I have no idea. If anybody knows for sure, please leave it in the comments and let me know. 
I would love to know for sure. It's made out of wrought iron, I can tell by looking at it. So I was just wondering what kind of tool this is. If you know for sure, please let me know. I'm thinking a potato digger. Alright, now on to some relics of a glass kind. Alright, I started off finding one of these uh, beautiful mason jar lids with the glass intact. It says Genuine Boyd Cap for mason jars it says genuine Boyd cap for mason jars I think it says genuine Boyd cap for mason jars they're both the same there's nothing on the top of the lids like ball or anything like that so uh, I don't know. That's a piece of dark glass I had from the other day. But these are some shards I found when I was there. Who was that? It's got some ridges on it there. These I found at that same site the last time I was there on a the group hunt last summer. I found that piece and I found this piece. That was kind of cool. And then when I was there yesterday with Jazzy Jeff and Andrew, I found this real cool old little bottle with a blob top. That's pretty cool. And I found this piece, which I think is a uh, water pitcher. It stands up on its own there. I think this would be the bottom. And it's almost the same pattern, so I don't know if these are from the same piece or what. That'd be cool if it was. And then I found this beauty. It's got like a purple flower on it. I'm not sure. I think it might be a plate because this piece dips down. So this might be the center of the plate. And it comes up a little higher on the outside ridges. I thought that was a pretty pattern. Loved it. But yeah, these are what I call relics of the glass kind. How cool is that? Hey folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.